What is hydro mining is the topic for today, but before we jump and discuss about it, please don't forget to glue that like and subscribe button for the platform and now let's learn something new. So what is hydro mining or shall we better ask what is the difference between normal mining and hydro mining? The process is still the same, but the scale of operations is much larger. Many years ago it was profitable for individuals to mine cryptocurrencies from home on a personal computer, but the industry has grown into large-scale mining farms that use massive amount of energy. It has become too expensive for single miners doing it from home to stay competitive and is therefore not a practical option anymore. It also means that as the cryptocurrency mining has exploded in the last few years, so too has electricity usage related to big mining farms. If the industry is left to continue burning energy from exhaustible fossil fuels, it will cause significant damage to the environment in the form of pollution and climate changing greenhouse gases. Why is hydro mining important for cryptocurrency mining? It provides an eco-friendly energy source for power-hungry cryptocurrency mining. In a time when we are all becoming more environmentally conscious, the biggest criticism against cryptocurrency mining is that it takes excessive amount of electricity to execute. Mining Bitcoin and Ethereum, two of the most valuable cryptocurrencies, use the same amount of energy as Morocco a country with a population of close to 36 millions. A single Ethereum transaction consumes 53 kilowatts per hour. In comparison, a dishwasher appliance consumes an average of 288 kilowatts per hour in a single year. That means for only 5 Ethereum transactions you can power your dishwasher for an entire year. And if you think that around 300,000 transactions are being processed on the Ethereum network every day? Well, <laughs> that's a lot of dishwashers. Unfortunately, solving the complex algorithms to decrypt the cryptography requires enormous amount of electricity, most of the time from using non-renewable energy sources. A company like Hydrominer uses hydropower to fuel its mining operations, which is one of the most effective and low-cost renewable energy resources globally. It is environmentally friendly, carbon neutral and natural. In addition, using water to cool mining equipment can reduce costs by up to 85% less than the average electricity costs in Europe. From an environmental standpoint, it's therefore important for cryptocurrency mining to move to more eco-friendly energy source that not only reduces the cost of electricity consumption, but also generates it from renewable sources, minimizing the carbon footprint of such operations. What are the benefits of cryptocurrency hydro mining? Apart from using eco friendly energy sources, hydro mining provides increased reliability, cost savings, and enhanced performance. Mining requires powerful specialist computer equipment to run continuously throughout the day under extremely high loads. This means that failures and breakdowns due to overheating is a very real problem in cryptocurrency mining. Every day, even every hour of downtime means that the operations is losing money. By using water cooling systems in the hydro mining process ensures that the mining rigs and processors are kept at safe operating temperature at a lower cost. This creates more reliable mining environment with minimum downtime due to failure. Also, due to the enhanced cooling mechanisms, hydro miners, for example, can maintain consistent lower temperatures at a very high density. The performance of mining equipment can therefore be optimized for the highest possible mining power they can deliver at a consistent tempo. Electricity is also the biggest overhead of any mining operation. By using one of the cheapest, most natural forms of electricity generation, in example hydropower, Energy consumption is significantly less than on conventional mining farms. Lower energy consumption means increased cost savings and higher profits margins that can be passed 
on to investors. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave us a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of our videos and let us know in the comment section down below what do you think about hydro mining and what would you like to watch here on this channel in the next videos. Till the next week. Bye bye.